we've created a macro that will show an error if there's no customer name selected. But now we'd like to add some code so that macro will run automatically as soon as someone tries to print the worksheet. So we'll go down to the order form tab and right click and click view code. And that takes us into the visual basic editor. And the sheet one, the order form sheet is the one that we clicked view code on. So that's what we're looking at right now. If we go up to the drop down box and select worksheet, we'll be able to see all the events that are associated with a worksheet. And if I look through this list, there's nothing about printing here. So we can't use the worksheet code. So we're going to come to the Project Explorer and find this workbook. So this is the workbook module for the order form workbook. And I'll double click on this workbook. So now we're looking at the module for the entire workbook. Now if I select workbook, and now when I look at the list of events, I can see whole variety of things we can choose from and we're interested in printing so I'm going to click before print. So this event code now will run before someone's able to print the workbook. So we want it to check the state of the, a cell on a particular sheet. So we're going to check first and see what sheet name is the active sheet. I'm going to click here between these two lines in before print and I'll type if active sheet dot name equals order form and close the quotes space then. So if the name of the active sheet is order form, then we want something to happen. I'll press enter and I'm going to type end if. So that just finishes our if end if. Now we already have the macro that works fine to show the error. So I'm going over to module one and here's our customer message macro. And I'm going to select the lines in the middle. So from if down to end if. So I've selected those and I'll click copy. Then back to this workbook and I'm going to click just in front of end and put in a blank line and now I'll paste that code. So if the sheet name is order form then it's going to do something. And if the order form and I have a space here if the order form range B5 is blank, then it's going to show a message box. So as soon as someone tries to print this workbook, it's going to find out what sheet they're on and then check cell B5 of the, sh of the order form sheet if they're using the order form sheet right now. The last thing we're going to do is look at this cancel option. So we don't want the printing to be allowed if these things are true. So if they get to see this message box, we also want it to cancel the printing. So we're going to type cancel equals true. So if they're on the order form sheet and B5 is empty, they're going to see our error message and the printing will be cancelled. So I'll go back to Excel and I will clear out this customer name. And now if I try to print, I get the error message and it stops the printing.